So I said I was going to do a video series of coaching on the information that I was able to learn from real estate investors, financial advisors, stock investors, all these massively successful people that I was able to meet through my time in insurance, get in the room with, learn, pick their brain and stuff. And I'm going to do that. But before I get into that, I want to talk about something that's far more important. And that is the relationship of faith and success. Because I'm not sure about where all you guys grew up at, but where I grew up, there was a negative relationship with most people. Not throwing everybody into one basket, but for the most part, the vast majority of the church people either had or encouraged a negative relationship with success. They made it sound like your faith journey had to be a long, hard road and you know, you got beat down all the time, and then finally when you die, you get this massive reward. And the greatest reward is yet to come, no doubt. But that doesn't mean he doesn't want you to be successful here. And growing up, studying, learning more on my own in the Bible, he's actually the opposite. God actually repeatedly talks about the abundance that he wants to give you and I. And he's the God of everything. He's everywhere. He knows it all. And he controls it all. Why would that God create us to glorify him and want us to be beat down forever? He wouldn't. He doesn't. There's very few times, and I'll expand on this. I've got pages and pages of notes, reference verses and stuff that I do want to get into. I'm not sure if it'll be a short series or if it'll be a couple of pretty long videos where I just go over it all. I'm not sure yet. Um, we'll see how that plays. There's very few times he talks about having just enough. Now, one of those is the faith of a mustard seed, very, very tiny, would be enough. That's enough faith. That's the faith that it takes. But read the rest of that. The faith of a mustard seed is just enough faith to look at a mountain, which I'm looking at several. That's enough faith to look at a mountain and say move from here to here and have it be done that's just enough just enough belief to do something extremely massive that's where he talks about just enough another time he talks about just enough is there's just enough problems today for you to worry about to not think about tomorrow so what are you doing today to get better 